I'm in a building looking like a million hoes on my like what a good feeling What's up, Savage family? It's Tan Savage, Big Savage, Boss Savage, The Real Savage, and I'm tuning you in to another video. It's Boss Savage to you. Before I get into this video, big shout out to my 1K subscribers. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn on those bell notifications. Comment down below with any ideas you have for the new year. It is now 2021 you already know if you read the title then you know what this video is about and can you see me it's kind of a blur so i'm just gonna take those off and we're just gonna get straight into it to start the video off we're gonna talk about goals it's a new year it's 2021 we put 2020 behind us. We already one month in and we just about to come up with a six month plan so we can be successful this year because we already had a minor setback. So it's time for a major comeback. You know what I mean? So to start this video off, I do have some notes jotted down in my phone and no, I didn't look this stuff up at all. This is straight off the dome and to help me be a little more organized, I just put the notes in my phone. So that I won't be talking in circles and I can get my point across, period. And if you think I'm lying, can you see it? There you go. I ain't gotta lie to you. This is what I do. This is how I move. These are my moves, okay? And I'm just about to give you the recipe and tell you how I move to help you be a boss like me. Boss Savage. First thing first. Have faith and trust the process. Have faith in the process. Of becoming successful put your trust in yourself put your trust in God speak it into existence and just know that it's gonna happen like I'm about to be a boss this year I'm about to own my own business this year I'm about to make major moves this year speak it into existence and know that it's gonna happen have faith and trust yourself that's step number one step number two you're gonna find out where do you want to be a year from now do you want to be owning your business do you want to move to a different state do you want to quit the job you're working at now only you know where you want to be a year from now so yeah we're gonna have faith in ourselves and we're gonna figure out where we want to be in life step number three it's time to start. It's time to invest in yourself. With that being said, it's time to get rid of the distractions, your surroundings, bad people that you don't need to be hanging around, bad people that ain't on the same level as you, bad people that ain't got the same goals as you, not literally the same goals, but that wants to elevate. If you surround yourself around people that don't want to elevate and I just want to keep partying and you know ain't trying to see a better future for themselves yeah get rid of those people right now ASAP get rid of negative people negative energy those party animals and surround yourself with people that's about business that mean business it's time to get serious number five is stay low and move in silence if you got to cut those people off just cut them off you don't even have to explain to them why you cut them off. Stay low, move in silence. You ain't got to announce every move you make, everything you got planned. You ain't got to constantly put that out. You ain't got to make statuses. Just, you know, come out of nowhere with your business. Like, bam, this is what I've been doing. And it's right here with it, you know. So move in silence. Stay down till you come up. And that's the real thing. I'm living proof. Y'all, so I'm editing this video right now about making boss moves it's late at night excuse my ugliness but anyways i forgot one step the most important step if you need to downsize to be able to save minimize the most bills you can minimize your bills that means moving to a smaller place you can pay less rent paying off any bill credit cards anything minimize your bills and downsize that's important too and most importantly remember if you do got to downsize and you do got to get a smaller place just remember it is temporary remember these steps are temporary like this is temporary for me through this one year i'm staying down i'm low in my year when my business start or i get anywhere further i'm going i'm going to upgrade again i'm going up again that's basically ties into stay down till you come up period 
anyways period i have to mention that because that's important and yeah yeah with the yeah all right peace yeah it's just that simple even if you are you already feel like you up go down again until you come up again because there is no such thing as being too successful or becoming greater so if you feel like you already up then keep on moving and keep on becoming greater and steady move in silence it's that simple number six we're gonna pick a start date it's time to pick a start date figure out where you want to start when you want to start say that you are better at starting if you're starting at the beginning of the week or at the beginning of the month say it's the last two weeks of the month or last day of the week then you can just go ahead pick that start date what's today today is the beginning of february it's the weekend i'm gonna start fresh on sunday on sunday i'm just gonna start doing what i do you know cut out my distractions and just start fresh that's how i move so when you pick your start date, it's time to work your ass off. And I mean it when I say work your ass off. Like overtime, if you need to pick up a second job, pick up that second job. Work overtime, all the overtime you can get if your job offered overtime. If your job is not enough money, then go ahead and get you a second job. There's no such thing as making too much money. But you want to work as much as you can because that's that's where your source of income is as of now so you want to work as much as you can and most importantly the next step number eight is to save like if you're going to be working your ass off you want to save you ain't just working just to work and that don't mean just because you got extra money it's extra spending money you want to save and invest in your plan because when you save this money it's going to help you do get a jump start to your business or uh, jump start to anything you have planned so you want to save more spend less so you want to work more spend less you ain't got your business yet but you're gonna take all their money you're gonna take your first job money you're gonna take your second job money you're gonna take all their money while you got the chance just look at it like that like you working for their money you taking their money until you start your business then you're gonna get your own money it's just that simple so as you saving you investing in you you got that negative energy away from you it's time to fall in love with the process be patient trust the process know that it's going to get better you're going to progress each and every day you're going to keep growing so you want to fall in love with the process and while you're falling in love with the process you want to trust it and be patient don't give up just trust it with that being said number 10 don't give up on yourself don't be discouraged don't get distracted and sometimes it's easy to get distracted from those people who want to come back in your life or people that's encouraging you to do other stuff that ain't got shit to do with you so that is important keep focus and don't get distracted and believe it's going to happen know that you're going to succeed because you are going to succeed you already know you are be confident in it number 10 is to be consistent with the process be consistent with the process be consistent with your work be consistent in your saving be consistent in your overtime be consistent as in cutting out that negativity don't go party i mean i'm not saying you can't party but don't turn your party your partying ways into a habit to where you lose focus that's what I mean and as you've been consistent step 12 is to check in with yourself what's your progress how far have you came how you feeling do you feel like you're succeeding do you feel like you're progressing do you feel like you need to add some more stuff to your plan how do you feel make sure you check in with yourself because it's going to give you a wonderful feeling to know that you are getting somewhere. It's gonna give you a wonderful feeling to look back like, oh man, a month ago, I was just doing this. Now this month, I'm doing this. Like even a month of progress, like, dang, this month I only had 500 saved. This month, it's a whole new month and I got almost 3K saved. Like, cause you working out overtime. You just never know. If you check in with yourself, that'll help you keep pushing to be better to become greater to be patient number 13 is to remain focused and remember why you started remember why you started in the first place 
that is important like because it's so easy to get distracted it's so easy to give up because you're not being patient you're not where you want to be like tomorrow you have to remember why you started and where you want to be so remain focused that's so important number 14 if you lose focus it's easy to lose focus like i said take a break from those things that are distracting you take a break from your phone take a break from social media take a break from those people that are bringing you negative energy it's okay to take a break you don't have to cut them off if you don't want to you don't have to get off social media completely but that's something i do i get off social media for a whole week or i get off social media for two weeks or i don't get on social media all day and then i'll scroll on there or wherever i get on for an hour then i get off social media is a distraction and people hate to admit it but it's true i'm a living witness that it's a distraction and most people don't understand me when i try to explain that it real life is a distraction but taking a break will help you get your mind back right and focus so if you need to take that break make sure you take that break number 15 the last step once six months pass Check in with yourself. Where are you now? Did you progress? Where were you? Where are you now compared to six months ago when you made these goals? Did you progress? Are you stuck in the same spot? Did you not go with your flow like you were supposed to? What did you do wrong? If you succeeded and reached that main goal that you plan to reach within six months, then it's time to set some new goals. It's time to take those steps over and start from step one again and keep <laughs> Sorry, my camera gave up on me again. But like I said, after you reach those six months, see where you at now, start some new goals, you know, and just become greater. Then challenge yourself for another six months and see where you at ultimately at your one year. See if you succeeded or progressed or got anywhere different in your life from a year ago, from six months ago. And that's how you become a boss. And throughout this whole entire process, stay humble and remember to do it for you. Don't do it for anybody else. Do it for you. And if you got kids in this world, do it for your kids too. Don't be just doing it just to flex on people. Do it because you want to. Do it because you want to become better and you want to see yourself in a different position in this life. So those are the key steps that I take in my life. Those are the boss savage moves. So go ahead. I hope you took some notes from this video and I hope you're going to start your plan like yesterday or tomorrow, whatever works for you. I hope you learned from this video. I hope you took some notes and I hope you're going to get started. And I'm praying and wishing the best success to all of you. And I'm praying over your accomplishments this year. And I'm just praying over major success in everyone's life including my life i got big plans this year and i'll just share with you a few i want to grow my youtube i want to collab with people this year i want to start one or two or three businesses i don't know exactly what yet i want to do major things so those are a little bit of my goals i hope you guys are gonna write out your goals and yeah thanks for watching make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already again shouts out to the 1k subscribers we on the road to 2k and we just gonna keep going because we got major goals this year thanks for watching peace